What's going on everybody? Thank you for tapping back in with About Trout. Today we are fly tying, tying flies, flying ties, and we are going to tie a quill body pertagon. Uh, this is a style you can change the quill body, you can change the underbody, the bead color, the hot spot, whatever you want to do to best match kind of the local forage base um, in your area. This is probably my favorite pertagon in my favorite colorway, and I like to fish it here on the San Juan where I guide, um, but I've fished it with success all over the country and even abroad in Europe. So let's get right to tying. It's a pretty simple tie, great box filler, and I know you're gonna like this one. All right, let's tie our body quill pertagon. I have a falling mill jig short in the vise, size 16 with a 2.8 millimeter tungsten bead. And right now I am wrapping um, 70 denier UTC in white. Uh, this is gonna be a slightly lighter pattern when I wrap the body quill over with it, the color will be lighter. Um, but you can tie it in olive to darken it up if you so choose. I'm gonna wrap back to about where the barb should be, a little, a little short here, and I'm gonna grab some Coke de Leon. Um, I like to use three to four fibers. Again, if the fish isn't gonna eat it because there's an extra fiber in there, th th I don't know if I necessarily wanna catch them. The color of this Coke is speckled pardo. And I want the tails to be anywhere from a shank to three quarters of a shank length. I'm gonna wrap this UTC 70 right up behind the bead. And then I'm gonna trim that up, oh, missed one, not anymore. And it doesn't matter that it's sticking up like that because I'm just gonna nail it with thread. Uh, and pull it down. Next, we're gonna use Vivas Body Quill. This is the BQ5 color, Body Quill 5, shade five. Um, and this is more, this is like an olive. And I just really like that olive over white. You wanna be careful with this material because it can separate, it, it comes in like three pieces. So I'm gonna catch that right behind the bead, pull. I'll catch that, no need to cut. And we're gonna wrap this right to the tying point of the coke. We'll wrap this forward. And then just build a small thread dam right behind the bead. Now this isn't gonna be super important because we're gonna change the color for the hot spot here in just a second. All right, I'm gonna start palmering that body quill forward. Nice touching wraps. I love these pertagons. They're really drab, really natural. They just, they're, they're magical. And I'll just do a couple wraps right behind the bead. Come and catch that with my white thread. Now we're gonna cover this whole thing in resin. So I've cut the body quill off. I'm just gonna do a quick whip finish right behind the bead with the white. You don't have to get crazy with it if you don't want to. If I was tying with 18 knot thread, um, I would throw some lead in there to hold it better. So now I'm gonna come in with UTC 70 fluorescent orange for the hot spot. It's just a couple wraps because I don't, when I cut this, I wanna just cover up the thread that flares. And I'll do a quick little counterclockwise spin to flatten that out. Just gonna check that bead, it's locked, we're good. Come in here, just do a simple, a couple, just a three turn whip finish. Again, we're not going to really worry about anything here because we're gonna cover everything in resin. So for the wing case of my Pertagons, I've really fallen in love with Gulf resin. This is, they're black. It's, a, it's, um, it's not very viscous, so it doesn't slide all over the place. It stays nice and black. Um, it doesn't, it's not watery, and it just builds these beautiful cases for the Pertagon. So I'm just gonna use just a little dab like that. Tuck it right, right there behind the bead, and I can use my bodkin 
to kind of build that up. I'll use my finger just to get some of that black off the bead. Perfect wing case every time. So I cannot recommend that Golf product enough. We're just gonna cook that Golf resin and we're gonna finish the whole body with Solares Bone Dry, the best resin on the market. Well, if you want a thin resin. So we're just gonna cover that. Now I would rotate this in the vise. Here's the thing, if I do that, it's gonna knock this all out of focus with the way I have my macro lens set up. So we're good, that body is nice and tapered. There you go, nice little bit of taper to it, beautiful black hotspot, that is my favorite Pertagon and my favorite colorway. I know it will be a producer for you. Like I said, if you want that body darker, uh, you can use olive thread and wrap it over, kind of match it to the mayflies, uh, smaller stoneflies, whatever, in your body of water. But there you go. Pat yourself on the back and congratulations, you just whipped up some quill body pertagons or a quill body pertagon. Let me know how it works for you below in the comments, if you tie it differently, if there's a particular colorway that you found has worked best on your waters, we'd love to hear about it. But thank you so much everybody for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. One love.